Hi everybody <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with Laura. Hello. And with Pip. Hello. And we this will be the third video of our little series. Yes, mm. that we are doing. Uh, Shane about Dawson who? <laughs> <laughs> Shane Dawson who? <laughs> <laughs> about the difference between being in an adult psychiatric hospital or I think now we should broaden it out to just being like adult mental health team. Yeah. Yeah. And, and because there's not much more we can say between adult and CAMS. So Laura's been in the CAM system and We've Pip and I have been, been in, in the adult, adult system. Yeah. So we thought it'd be an interesting video just to see the differences between them. Yeah. So have we got any more questions? They're saying the difference between the staff, like how they treat you with words, etc. Is that a difficult one? Oh. So were the staff really like talk down to you? Yeah, were they patronised? Yeah, or were they, they patronised you because you were kids? Like kids, yeah, mm. really. But it would like they'd say, do they say things like, um, you need to say like you don't want to go to bed or something? They'd be like, you need to like go to bed because there's really ill people on the ward. Like, they'd make it like really it's your fault. Yeah. Yeah. And they'd be like, there's so like really ill people that need their sleep, and it's just like, I'm here for a reason. Yeah, literally. Yeah. That used to be a thing that got me because, yeah, I remember once it was like four of us that didn't want like couldn't sleep, so we just sat outside our rooms. Um, and obviously they're all on the same corridor, so we just like like just sat there. Yeah. And then they got people from a different ward to like come shower us. Oh my god. That's so Guys. bad. I yeah. feel like um, on adults. How would you say it? they just talk they, to you normally? They talk to you quite normally. Occasionally they'd be a bit patronising, like. But that was only they'd be like they that that would be if uh, they were being mean and they'd be like, don't act like a child. Yeah. No, you, I was told that like. Once I, they were like, because uh, I was like, I'm not a fucking kid. Blah, 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 blah. And they were like, well, you're behaving like one. And I was like, ah, Mel, go away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was really annoying though, because they'd be like, you're just acting like a child. And I'd yeah, be like, they say that to us too. But like, mm. looking back, I'm like, but I was just, I was just really ill. Like, there's, just, yeah, yeah. Like, that's really kind of like insensitive to just be like, yeah. Yeah. dismiss it as be like, oh, you're just really childish. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. But not I'd, ill, yeah. you're just being childish. But I'd say day to day they would, you, you'd make friends Generally, with them. Generally you'd have like a yeah. chat with them yeah. like, and you'd get on quite well with yeah, them. And they, they yeah, would, they would and there'd be, be someone on where you're like, oh yes, you're never yeah. like a good one to one. I would yeah. always have a one to one with the same person, that's it. Like yeah. just one person. Yeah. That yeah, my name nurse thing. was like my favourite. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> did I say oh dear? Oh I meant, dear. I meant oh yeah, did you have like a key worker and a co-worker, whatever you called it? We had a name nurse. We had a name nurse. I feel like we're really... Oh. I never knew you could do that. Did you know you could do that? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. No, you're That's like it. missing half of your head. <laughs> you got like a big old dent in your Oh skull. my god, I do. <laughs> no, wait. That's what is the that sun? From? It's the sun. Like, go forward. Like, go where I was. Oh, wait. No, wait. I do just have a <laughs> dent in your head. It's like. Yeah. Oh god, I've been filming two videos. I with don't a think you do. Bloody dent in my How head. How can you have a dent in your head? Uh, yeah, no, we had name nurses, mm -hmm. which was just basically someone who. What would you say they did? Because my name nurse did fuck all. Well, she was nice, but who she was didn't. your name nurse. The one with all the piercings. Yeah, she was so nice. She was really nice, she but didn't she do didn't do well. anything. She was so yeah. nice. Mm. Mine no, I don't really see the point of name nurses. Really. No. I don't even know who my name nurse was. Once I was. But I got moved and then Becky. Did you have a name nurse and a name HCA? No, not no. a name HCA. Okay, we had yeah, we had both. We had a key worker which was like a named nurse and a key it's, worker which was. It like said HCA. on our thing, like well it did on Westwood anyway, like your HCA is and then it just like wouldn't have anything. Oh, really? in the I, it, you know in the general hospital they have on the doors like named nurse and named HCA. So I'm guessing it's probably just a protocol really? from that and they yeah. don't Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so everyone's named nurse was the same? No. Oh, like you had like your name and then named nurse. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, oh, right, yeah. Okay. So we'd have different name nurses. Were they allowed to write your names on like things, or would they always put your initials? Because I don't think they was like allowed to write our names. So for everything, say that we had ward round printed out like the timetable, and it would like be LC whatever people's initials. I don't think they were allowed to put anyone's names anyway. Oh really? no, our pro our ward rounds were really scattered. Like you did not know what time you had ward rounds, so you'd be waiting yeah. all day. That's really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously, like, some people from, like, 
depends on who you have in your care team. Like obviously in my my parents came and my social worker came and like outpatient comes, that yeah. kind of thing. So like it was scheduled. It would all be everyone's would be in the same day for whatever ward it was, and then like each person would have a slot. Ours were like you could schedule it and my mum my mum she she used to always schedule mine, so she'd always come to mine. Um which I didn't mind because then my care coordinator would come and I liked my CPN. Mm. But um otherwise if if you didn't schedule it you just didn't know when you were being seen no. you could be seen okay. at like nine in the morning you could be seen at like five in the afternoon wow oh i and remember just... trying to see the consultant and then being like you'll see them today and then him literally like fucking off home and yeah he's not seeing them and i was like wow great great but that's annoying because like they have to make all the decisions don't they in yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. And, and, and you guys once and stuff, a week and i was yeah. like mm -hmm. yeah and if you don't see them or if it goes badly then you've got another w a whole week to yeah, wait. Yeah, especially to... if like you're on section, you need section 17 done. Yeah, yeah, and if they do 17. it wrong, yeah, yeah section that, yeah. 17. Mm. They, if they said like, oh, only family and not friends, then that means the whole week that you're not allowed to go out with friends. Mm. How does schooling slash education continue in CAMS and adult units? Love you all, by the way. Oh, we love you all too. We love you, love you all too. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> we love you all. We love it's you all. We love you all. <laughs> um, so in in adults you don't get education, just point blank. So yeah. say you were at uni because obviously you're at uni. Did I was like, at uni. I bring... had to take a leave of absence okay. from uni. So I basically left my course temporarily. I've taken temporary withdrawal, and then I pick up my course where I left off next March. Mm. So, uh, but they wouldn't they wouldn't offer any. Um, help towards your uni education, education. Anything, no. no there would there would be no because like, you're like an adult then because like, they were like 60 not... year olds oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they're not going to be doing like education oh yeah yeah, yeah. but like, and obviously it would be like degree level so yeah you'd have to have someone like a lecturer yeah exactly mm -hmm. did they make any contact with the uni or was uh, it just they like did for you? me um they said that they would and then i think they did a little bit but they didn't do like a lot but they were nice and they were supportive and they kind of like helped me like talk through my options and like That's decide good. what i was going to do and stuff. yeah so mm -hmm. they were like supportive in that way which was yeah. good and we answered this one in laura's video so yeah. if you haven't seen laura's video go okay. check it out <laughs> <laughs> um which was scary and which is more beneficial for recovery oh I didn't. you don't really have a subjective choice, do you? i think that yeah massively subjective yeah I think it depends on I think like both who are you scary. are, what you have. I think both are both are gonna be scary yeah, because fighting, going like, into oh my god, one of the scariest nights of my entire life was when I first went into my first same, psychiatric hospital. Same. I know. I, when I found and out I was I had like, to go, I was crying the whole day. Like, yeah. The whole day. I was yeah. like, where the hell? Like even when I got when I got put in the second one, I cried all day, and then two weeks later, I got moved to a different ward. Mm. And I cried like for like a week. It's, it's I literally terrifying. just cried every single day about yeah. like no. I'd be like, I can't find my sanitary towels. Like <laughs> I swear I had them and now I've lost them. Oh my god, sanitary towels always went missing. Is yeah. that a thing? My, really? like, I couldn't mm. find mine and I just you weren't cried allowed. You know what was a thing? I don't know why you weren't allowed them in your room. <laughs> no. What are you gonna do with sanitary towels? You have to put them in the store cupboard and like every time you needed one, be like, can I have some? <laughs> no, oh you know god. what was a thing? In my first admission, there was a there was a secret shitter. Used to go into Sorry. people's rooms and shit in their toilet and then like just leave it there. And no one knew who it was. There was, a, there was like a sh so someone who used to shower in people's bathrooms <laughs> and flood their rooms, entire rooms. How can this you... woman lost her shit because someone had flooded her entire room and had a shower in her room. <laughs> and then they brought this girl out, like wrapped her in a, like, a sheet because she was like naked and like had to walk her across oh. into her room. God, you had a lot of drama, didn't it, you? Was, yeah. it was like ridiculous and she like was... lost her shit. Like I would have been so pissed off in my room if that flooded. That is awful. I, I feel like... like there's a lot of drama on adult war. Mm. Every oh, day. there is. I almost got in a fight. That was bad. Yeah. Mm. She was <laughs> a bitch. <laughs> Come about, but she was. <laughs> right? Was it like there were, was there a lot of drama on? There was only drama one time, and it was like tension between two patients. Really? But it was like quite bad t tension. Like someone had to get moved to a different ward because of it. There was see, there was like shouting all a lot of the time. There was there was a lot of confrontation. Shouting. There was Mostly a lot from me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can imagine Pip being a bit. I was shouting. I used to slam doors. Like, 
I just went into like fits of rage for some reason. Like I, that's how I knew I was ill because I'm not really an angry person. No, you're not an angry. person. I don't that's really get I that. Ang- like I've never yeah. like got angry with you ever. No, no. I said this to Claire and I or lost something. my shit. And I could do. I just was the, the the fury was the like the fury was real. Yeah, the fury and was that's so just real. not your natural. It's not person. my thing at all. No, and like I know, remember when I messaged you and I was like, oh my, like yeah. about. <laughs> about like the whole yeah and i was like now i'm looking back I'm like, oh my god yeah. that's not me yeah do you know what i mean literally i was like like when like the whole police thing yeah i was like oh my god yeah it's so yeah it's so like yeah. weird when you're like in hospital and you like just you just kind of do all this crazy shit i like so i like, like recluse yeah i went like, like out like recluse. i went i became a recluse i went really <laughs> just like mental yeah like wild yeah. yeah but some days i'd be so quiet and some days i'd be like sometimes i'd literally stay in my room all day and then some days i'd be like fuck you all i did not i did not speak to i did not speak to anyone you i did didn't. not want to make friends with anyone i was like this time around i was like i do not want to be like anyone's friend <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry, but like, I, no. That was like me, like, I was like, I'm here to get better, like, I'm not here to make friends. Yeah, but I did I make one really good friend. Yeah, yeah. I literally had it in my head, I was like, I'm going to pretend that this is a retreat. A retreat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I that's how I d- had to do it in my yeah. So I used to just, I watched like all of Brooklyn Nine Nine when I was in there. It was amazing, and all of Line of Duty. It was great. Wi Fi. Yeah, they had Wi Fi. Yes. This you time to, around, you had to log into it every like eight hours. Yeah. It was. Even get service. No, we're not. That yeah. Well, when I was in there, the first Wi-Fi. time around, there was no Wi Fi. The first hospital that I was in didn't have Wi Fi. No. Probably still yeah, doesn't we didn't have, have Wi Fi. And this one, it does have Wi Fi, which was so good because like. It was needed because you can't get any signal in hospitals anyway, mm. can you? No. So. Well, Tesco was like the only provider that you could get service through. And I oh. Tesco, so I was like, go on, go on. I have Tesco. Tesco. I work for Tesco. Yes. The aftercare. Yeah, like, how was the aftercare? Yeah. Not. For me, personally. None. For you, shit. I have me none. really good. For you. It kind of just went back to how it was before. Okay. See, I so, got less support afterwards than I yeah, had before it was I went really in. bad, yeah. Mm. Which is awful. Which is crazy. Because I was seeing, like, crisis team every day. Yeah. And, like, I had a psychiatrist appointment. Mm. Like, I had, I saw multiple psychiatrists, like, and then I went into hospital, came out with no support. No, like, zero really? support. Yeah, Literally. they they have offered I have my GP and that's it. They offer a nothing. I'm nothing. Yeah. They, I got rejected while I was in hospital from the community team. Yeah. Okay. Oh, one thing. Did, um... Did, oh no, I was gonna say. <laughs> this is weird. Um, did they say like you were like getting worse? Would they then discharge you because of it? They said that to me actually. They because said that's literally a reason they discharge people. They said to me, um, the first consultant from the first ward that I was in, he said, um, if you like have any more incidents, we're just gonna discharge you. Mm. But I was like, and then it wasn't until he looked. He should have looked through my notes before he did that because then afterwards, like quite a few days later maybe like the next week he was like oh he was like i've seen that you had like multiple a and e admissions before you came in here so like we won't discharge you and i was like thank you like i need help obviously yeah like i think they discharged me because i had an incident really, really? yeah i i can i can kind of like from an outside when perspective they say i it can, might make you worse i can kind of but... see that like that that mentality of like you're not getting any better in here. Yeah. It's not the right environment if it's making you worse. But then I can also see the, the mentality of being really like, bad re- start if, with, if you're in danger, and you're the same you in can't, hospital. Yeah, you can't, you can't just discharge someone because they're getting worse. Like, it's, if that, yeah. If they can't do yeah. that because. But I can see the mentality of like, I, yeah. This is if working. they had like one hospital admission and then had loads and loads and loads of incidents. Yes, in and they and they hadn't. And they were prior. like behaviour. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what. To be honest, that's what happened the first time I went into hospital. Mm. Like, and like they tried to discharge me quite early, but then like it just shit got like really bad, and like I ended up there for like seven months. Do you think it's like not easier, but like more? I don't know, like. For an adult to get admitted to oh work. interesting i don't know actually because whenever i've seen people and like like psychiatrists or whatever and i've been ill and my parents have been like what's your claim needs to be in hospital they're like well in adults you wouldn't have this like in adults care is so different you won't get all this treatment see i think that they but i think that it's more likely to be an adult that gets. i think we do get admitted not yeah. easily but like 
if you're ill, you get admitted. Like if you are, if you need to be admitted, you, you get admitted. Yeah. You might have to wait yeah. for a bed. Yeah. But you do get I admitted. Think whole, yeah. yeah. I think it's a whole thing of adults. You don't have to legally have someone looking over you. No. So a child yeah. like someone has to yeah it's like their responsibility like parental like yes as an I totally adult, get that. you could be like no i'm living on my own i'm, I'm living on my own, own yeah mm-hmm. so that i can do whatever i want and yeah, yeah. if so you're like, in danger just, yeah they put all point, the like actually. pressure on yeah. parents and they're like yeah. you have it's, to keep me safe yeah so but i think it was actually quite like that this time around when i went to hospital i basically was like i agreed to go into hospital. Yeah, I agreed to go in this time. Yeah. But I got so, a section when I was there. Because I tried to same. leave. <laughs> same. <laughs> That's what happened to me before. But this yeah. time around, I was like, I'm Just don't not try to leave. They just don't give you a choice, though, do they? Like, did they give you a choice? They're like, if you don't go, what section are you in? Yeah, no, that was it. Yeah. Was so it's it. not really a choice, yeah. is it? No. no. And, and obviously, if voluntary you're poorly... Voluntary doesn't technically mean voluntary. Yeah, mm. if, if you're poorly, uh, you kind of just are persistent in, like, I'm going to go. I'm leaving. Like, yeah. I'm just leaving. Like, like I, I had that, like, here. I was like, I'm yeah. leaving. And then they were like, mental health act assessment, yeah. section two. And I was like, oh, fuck. Mm. Yeah, they'd, like, put you on a 5-2 or 5-4 really quickly. Yeah, like, yeah. they're 5 two Yeah, I was away. on a 5-2 and then yeah. a section two. I think it depends on, obviously, where you live. Because, because I live in a city with a psychiatric unit available it is quite not easy to get admitted but like easier than obviously other places mm. maybe like yeah. f- for you it'd be harder because mm. you don't have one right and like i like the hospital t- grounds are there i only waited there. a day to get in yeah to like the f- this hospital that yeah. i was in most recently but the first hospital that i was in i was in the general for over a week yeah. waiting for a bed which is crazy do they decide that you're going to a hospital before they found a hospital. Yeah, because then they'd have to look for a bed, and then. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. Because we had like, it was like I had a mental health act, and then decided that I'd go informally, but then they were like, oh, we'll look for a bed, and there was one in my area, so like, oh, I guess okay. they would have like sent. I've only ever been admitted through A and E. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I've, I've always no, been yeah. in a I hospital. Was, yeah. I was in hospital. Yeah. I was in general before. I've been in the general, yeah. And then they just are like, okay, you've got a place on this ward. And I was like, okay, great. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice little retreat. Not. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it then. Yeah. Hey. This is, these have been oh, very, my. very long videos. So bear with i hope you enjoyed them (laughs) but um go check out laura's and pips if you haven't already they will be up uh, all at the same time um so yeah i hope you enjoyed stay safe and i'll see you soon (laughs) bye Bye. Bye.